Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Brennan 9 millimeter USA here. And today we're gonna to be doing our first review on a Magnum Research product. This is the Magnum Research Desert Eagle, government size 1911. This production 1911 is full of features at a very attractive price for sure. As you know, we test a lot of 1911s on our channel. And this one is a fully featured 1911. This fully featured 1911 comes in at a truly incredible price and we'll go over that here in a few minutes. During the testing of this 1911 we shot about 300 rounds of Sig Sauer Elite Performance Ammunition through this 1911. We had zero malfunctions which was quite impressive. The only malfunctions that we kind of had was just me holding down the slide release with my grip when it was 30 degrees so you know, that's a personal issue with the Science 11 that I personally had, but it didn't have any failure to feeds or anything like that. Let's cover that real quick. Um, we went up to go shooting on March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. We weren't expecting to run into 10 inches of snow in the forest. So you guys are gonna be able to tell we're not shooting at our normal location. We went about three miles into the forest and we ran into a gradual upgrade in the snow beginning around seven to eight inches and then it went up above 10 inches of snow. My BMW X5 can't make it through that much snow. So we blocked a side road to make it totally safe and we set up a temporary uh, place to go ahead and do this testing. So if it looks different, that's the reason why. This production 1911 is machined to perfection. You guys can tell by looking at the finish of the pistol itself, it's flawless. Look at the tolerances in the back. Very well done. The beaver tail is very well done also, especially for its price class. It has a 25 lines per inch checkered mainspring housing. And the check ring carries on to the front strap again, 25 lines per inch, no overruns, very well machined. Which is kind of surprising again in this price class, guys. Normally you see overruns. That means it runs into the rest of the pistol there where you can see it's not perfect. And what did we find out about the grips? These grips are VZ grips, Spec Ops grips. So they're the standard style 1911, really nice G10 grips. And they are nice. Really great. Really good traction on them, feel great in hand. Yep, and it comes with the pistol. Another great selling feature there from the Desert Eagle. If you guys have been looking at these 1911s before, you may remember that the Desert Eagle, the engraving, the writing on the side of the pistol used to be a lot larger. This is much smaller. I like it smaller. You can still see it, but it doesn't need to be huge, right? So I think that's very well done. And I am very glad they made that change. But the pistol is pretty incredible, especially when you start talking about the price of this gun. There is no slide to frame movement at all. It's very well machined as to its overall tolerances. It is tight. It's just super tight. Very well put together. I love the finish of it. It's very nicely done. It's got front cocking serrations up here. Nicely done back here also. Another Elander. The ammo is supplied by Elite Performance Ammunition from Sig Sauer. This is their 45 ACP ammo, 230 grain, traveling at 850 feet per second and 369 foot-pounds. Good job. That Neo Mag works really good, huh? It's really speeding up my reloads. Yep. 
I'm not hunting in my pocket for a magazine, guys. This Neomag connects right here to the edge of my pocket. I've got my uh, rounds facing forward and it holds it right there. So when I go for the reload and up into the gun. Yeah. So that's a titanium clip right there. You can get it in that version or a blackened version if you want to be a little bit more tactical. It's your call. The slide on this Desert Eagle 1911 is machined from a solid piece of billet steel. The frame, just like many other 1911 brands in this price range, such as Ruger, Devil Dog Arms, and I'm sure many others, is a precision cast frame. So unlike Ruger, this 1911 has front strap checkering on it precision cast frame and it's very well machined so you know with this 1911 in this price range you're just getting a couple more features versus the other brands and that includes stuff like Springfield Armory many of their 1911s don't come with front strap checkering at all yeah or many of these other features so guys the weight of this 1911 is 36.2 ounces that's actually a little bit lighter than many other 1911s in this class our guess is that's because of the precision cast frame because it's not forged steel and that's what makes it a little bit lighter either way the weight of this 1911 really does help control the 45 acp round and it feels very smooth shooting overall it's very well put together this 1911. And in regards to how well this 1911 is put together, the barrel is very well fit. There is no movement in that barrel. The beaver tail is very well blended to the frame, just very high quality, feels excellent in hand. This pistol is also a Series 70 pistol, so you don't have a firing block safety, which makes the trigger on this gun, as we'll cover later on, very good. Skeletonized hammer back here, very easy to use. Good quality, looks good, worked good. The frame on this 1911, it's magwell, has a slight bevel, making magazine insertion very easy overall. Just getting that mag in is very simple and easy to do. The frame also has a high cut in the back of the trigger well area right here. It allows for you to be able to get a higher grip on the pistol to be able to control the 45 ACP round. Just very nice, very well machined as I mentioned before. Pretty amazing at this price point. Elander Magazine. <sighs> Didn't lock back again. It might be me, I'm not sure. Let's try another mag. So one more thing I wanted to cover, mostly for right-handed shooters, because it doesn't have an ambi safety, guys. Sorry about that. Anyway, for right-handed shooters, the safety is pretty nicely sized. You can tell it's got some uh, serrations there for a little bit of traction on it. And as far as use. Nice positive click. It's not bad at all. It does have a little bit of resistance to it, so it's not going to be too easy to accidentally put on when you're firing. If you're one of those guys that puts your thumb down below like this. If you're a guy that rides over the safety like I try to do all the time, then you're going to have it like this and it won't make any difference at all because you know it's down. But as far as clicking it on and clicking it off, I think it's great. Look back that time. Good? Yeah. I 
I think it's my grip just interfering with the uh, slide release a little bit because okay. it locks back every time otherwise. All right. So just a personal issue, but the gun's running great. I definitely wanted to cover the trigger for you real quick, guys. It's a great feel to the 1911. Here's the trigger. Watch the movement. Tightens right there. And it breaks. Again, we get the hammer in this time too. Firms up right there. Yeah, it's it's really good. It is a little heavier. It is right around the four pound mark. I don't think it's anywhere near three. But it's a good trigger. So the trigger itself, you guys, is a medium pad and it's skeletonized as you can see. How's the reset? It doesn't push really hard back to you, um, but you can feel it. It makes a quick little audible noise. So reset is good. What do you think of the reset? The trigger definitely felt a lot better than some of the Smith & Wesson 1911s that we've looked at in the past. So overall, you know, you got to give this thing an A. It's built very well. I love the grips that are on it. The features and benefits that the pistol offers are damn near top notch, especially in this price range. Another mag. The barrel on this Desert Eagle 1911G is a 5.1 inch barrel. You can tell it sticks out the end of the pistol just a little bit. It is nicely polished and finished at the end, which is not something you find on your seven to $800 1911s for the most part. There's a little bit of carbon here and stuff from us shooting it, but it is polished, you could tell. And it does stick out the end just a tad bit. And right there you can see that it has the full length guide rod. So it is not GI style, which is totally okay. I mean, the Dan Wesson Point Man 45 has a full length guide rod, and that's an amazing pistol also. Yeah, just want to cover everything on it, guys, that we can possibly think of. You can change your sights out if you want. Fairly easy to do. So this pistol comes with contrast, three dot steel sights. You have serrations on the rear sight to reduce glare, along with the two white dots. Something to also mention is that these sights are Novak style and it is snag free the rear sight. So those are the sights on this 1911. Not only is the fit really nice on this 1911, but also the finish is amazing. Just very well done. This pistol has a matte stainless steel finish. This pistol looks really, really nice. Really high quality. In person, it's, it's very impressive, for sure. All right guys, more of these Elander magazines. In this Desert Eagle 1911, we noticed that the uh, standard magazine that comes with it is also an Elander. Yep. All right, guys, with this Desert Eagle 1911, we're using the Neo Mag down here out of my pocket. And so when you reach in, you just take your two fingers, you claw the magazine at the top, you pull it out immediately and feed your 1911. It's a lot better than hunting for the magazine. This 1911 also comes with not just one, but two magazines. This is the first manufacturer that we know that comes stock with Elander magazines. We did not know that until we picked up the pistol. So Elander stock mags, those are the mags that we've been testing for quite a while. So these continue to be perfect. No issues with these at all. Good bump pads on the bottom of them. Very effective in the field. And a nice high quality follower on them too. Yep. No issues at all. They 
have been great. I like the uh, stainless steel ones a little bit better than the black ones, but these are great. So in closing, guys, we referenced the price many times, but we never said what it was. The MSRP on this 1911, as it sits right here, is 906. Nine hundred six dollars for an MSRP for 1911 that gives you all of these features. I think that's great all by itself, but the street price is somewhere closer to 740, 750, maybe even a little bit less than that. Right now at Gun Pro Deals, they have this Desert Eagle 1911 with a knife, a commemorative knife, for $740. I don't know how you can beat that. If you didn't want the knife, I'm sure the pistol alone would be somewhere closer to $700 to $720. For me, that's an outstanding value and something worth considering if you don't want to spend big money on a 1911, but you want one that runs. Again, if this did not run, if we had issues and problems with it, I think the review would be different. The recommendation would be different. You know, we show when these pistols choke and when they have problems. This thing ran like a top with, what, 30 degree weather and 10 inches of snow on the ground. So I was very excited uh, about its performance overall. And I think you were too, young brother, right? Yeah, I was very impressed with its overall performance, even though it had some locking back issues for me personally. It never had any jams, guys. You know, our Rock Island Armory 1911 that we got had some serious problems. And again, you're in that price range right here. You're in Rock Island Armory territory, Ruger territory. Why would you buy one of those when you can get this 1911 and the features it has and the quality? Anyway, that's our thinking. I know there's only a handful of reviews on these 1911s, so we wanted to get our hands on one and put it through its paces. I think I want to get another one now, maybe a commander size or something else, and also test that one. I want to be able to take from a, you know, a sample selection of more than just one, but I think this is going to be a good choice, and I do love the grips that are on it. That saves you another $70, $80, so think about that when you guys are looking to purchase something. As far as the safety and all the features and stuff, I mean, it's top-notch. There's no question for that kind of price range. You show me another 1911 for $700, $720 that can beat this one. I can't think of it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. And if you're interested in this Magnum Research Desert Eagle 1911 or anything else available from Magnum Research, go ahead and check out their products on their website. As always, everyone, thanks for watching the video. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. And support us on Patreon for more guns and gear videos coming up in the future.